So we're going to set the scene. It is after HMI Awards Ball. Pretty sure. <laughs> Afterwards, after HMI Awards Ball, that just passed in January. Mm-hmm. Your house won how many of the years? Oh, 15 of the years. 15 of the years. Yes. When y'all won of the, of the years um, last year, mm-hmm. how many did y'all win? If you can I remember. believe nine. Nine. So you got, you got, you got like six more this time. Mm-hmm. And you guys are house of the year again yes that's amazing yeah. that's amazing you know like such an individual that people are flabbergasted or is able to you know amount to such success right in such a short amount of time because you yeah. know they like to sleep on yeah. mr jiggy job <laughs> so yeah. um that massive success happens mm-hmm. and so you wake up one morning you go on facebook and you're just Headlining, right? Mm, so, yeah. <laughs> so you're headlining. You're on an event. Yeah, it was a chain of events that <laughs> yeah. happened, and you was like definitely been on the tabloids for some time. Yeah. Um, leading after that, right? So that's right. pretty much we're gonna really start with. We're gonna dive right in with that. Yeah. So what happened? What transpired with the with the? How come just that with you and being the president of? The Kiki scene or the Kiki coalition, right? What's the tea um, around that? Well, to make it very clear, um, you know, I want to put out there that I was actually given the title mm-hmm. by the icon Mel Mel Double O Seven when I got deemed last year, January twenty twenty. Wait, sorry, twenty twenty three. Um, you know, he gave me the title, um, the president. He felt like I had what it takes to, you know, fill his shoes and um, take over the collab and just to like, you know, just help make change within the community. He's seen my work. Previously, he's seen, you know, that I've been studying. He's seen that I was, you know, someone that can handle it. And, um, yeah, he gave me the title, and um, I took it, and I ran with it. Yes, and so, and I was the thing, too, when this was surfacing, when when people were surprised that you became, like, you know, you, you started to promote that title, right. right? So when you promoted that title... And I've been was doing that. You was already doing that I was, prior. I was yeah. already doing it. Um, I wasn't doing it as heavy um, when I first um, got it, but... After a while, like I started saying it. Why now? Why are you feeling it now? Why did I say now? No shade. Like, um, cause I felt like it was time to step into my role, right? You know, what I'm saying take it seriously. You know, what I'm saying, but I didn't want it to be like um, this whole big thing. I didn't think it was gonna be like this whole big thing. You know what I mean? Me neither, child. Yeah, like, I, but I've been with saying it though. Like, you know, what I'm saying I've been with saying it. Yeah, but um, I think because of the situation that occurred, and you know, we'll get into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so what does it mean to you to be the president of the Kiki Coalition? Because if people thought it was going to be the scene, but right. it's really the coalition, right? A lot of people don't even know, especially the girls that came out after COVID right. are not understanding, right? It what was it a is. thing, and it was a thing before COVID. Like we was actually meeting up, you know, every what every month, um, yeah, having like, all these yeah. parent meetings and things like that. This is not this is nothing new. This is nothing that just came out of nowhere. Um, this is something that was dead during COVID and I decided to revive it. Okay. So now we're going to get into the the more in, deep into that. So mm-hmm. there was an incident that happened between two people at HMI yes. there, there and was a, fight, the, a scuffle. The, a scuffle. And which is very, you know, it's part of the community. We right. do it all the time. Right. And the collab decided to implement a rule. The ban. The ban. Yes. And one person got banned, and that transpired into you waking up one morning after such a massive success, and then you're just in front of, like, you know... You know, New York Times of just being the worst president. Yeah. You have people writing in front of your apartment, throwing tomatoes <laughs> at your door. Oh, there was petitions. Yeah. Man, I, I mean, legitimate, a legitimate, a petition. Yeah, impeach the president. Who like, did? I'm whose gagging. man did you back? Who did you um, fuck? Like, I don't know. Because uh, I gotta, I gotta check my records. I gotta. We, we gotta, yeah, know. we gotta do an audit. Cause that was, I was That's gagging at that. That's a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. Now, on the outside, it's a key, you know, it, it could be a key key because it's all of this, you know, it's drama to everybody else. But, but you as, me, as an yeah. individual, 
you handled it a certain way. Why did you handle it the way that you did? Um, sometimes I feel like power comes in silence. Um, and you don't always have to talk about your next move. You don't always have to show your cards. You know what I mean? And um, I knew that um, if I just let it die down, and you know, I stay quiet and, you know what I'm saying, I express myself how I want to do it, I could turn the narrative into something different. You know what I mean? And I feel like people respected the fact that, you know what I'm saying, I didn't feed into the drama. I didn't feed into the petition. I didn't go on Facebook and, you know, wilding out. And I think they wanted me to do that. Oh, yeah, down. Q, I think. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> just, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was the main one. No, I say the main one, but you know, you know what he gets. Yeah. He, he likes to poke you. Um, you know, of course, you know, it was people that wanted to see me yeah. wild out. You wild know what I'm saying? They wanted me, they wanted me to carry, but um, I just wasn't on that. You know what I mean? I think also it was a lot like hitting me at once. So it took me a minute to process everything. I was like, I'm not gonna hold you. Like, as much as I was acting like, you know, it didn't phase me, it did gag me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Cause it was like people that, you know, I was seeing jumping on the bandwagon that I was cool with. So like it surprised me. I was like, wow, like this is really crazy. And um I've seen it happen to other people, but I never thought it would happen to me. Yeah. Because I thought, you know what I'm saying, like um people, you know, appreciated me and appreciated what I brought to the table and just appreciate me as a person. You feel me? So one thing I learned is nobody is exempt. Nobody. Nobody is exempt for a person's behavior and all bullshit. No shade. And so, I mean, I know this was like a definitely, like you said, it was an awakening for you seeing all these people yeah. kind of like choose their side over something that is so, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so, again, what what was the point of the band? Why did why did Jack feel like, or the you know, your team or whatever mm -hmm. feel like that needed to be implemented? Because that's not the only thing that that this is coalition is right, for. Right, right. Um, I think because it was like, we in the process of starting something new, right? We're bringing back, you know, rules. We're bringing back, you know, um, the things that we was implementing before. Um, and I think maybe because it was like the beginning of the year, so we, we wanted to set the tone. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is, you know, if you fight, this is what's gonna happen. You know what I mean? So um, I think everybody was just on the same page as if like, okay, like, we gotta like put our foot down, you know what I'm saying? Um, at, least, at least try to like implement the band list, you know what I'm saying? See how it goes. Um, I, that, I feel like that's what like really what it was for real. Like, I think it was just more so like, not only that, it was at HMI. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, they fought at one of the biggest balls. That's like fighting at the mm -hmm. Grammys. Mm -hmm. You know yes. what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's like, yeah, like, that was a lot. Yeah. That was a lot. And on the big stage, you got all these like sponsors, you know, endorsements and, you know, big time people in the crowd, you know what I'm saying? People watching on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Like, now we might lose that venue, you know what I mean? That's a fab venue for the Kiki scene. That's a that's the main stage. This is where the, the latex ball was at. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, that's a big deal. So for us to, you know, have the pleasure to grace that stage and, you know, show our talents on a different scale um, is, like, dope within itself. And to have people, you know what I'm saying, scuffle at the back of the runway during a category is crazy. I, I wanted to like implement change um, mm -hmm. as well. Um, I just saw like the scene just like going in a, in a certain direction. And um, you know, we've been we're supposed to bring back collab. And mm -hmm. I was just like, you know what, Memo gave me this opportunity. Why not, you know what I'm saying, put my best foot forward and fill that role, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And whatever happens, at least I can say I tried. You know what I'm saying? So now there was a thing, right? People have, you know, wanted to, was trying to understand how can you be the president of something and also balance being founding father at Telfar, right. which is a huge house right now, mm -hmm. and then and being able to, you know, balance both. Do you feel like it's overwhelming balancing both the Kiki C and, and the Yang um, House? Not really. Not really. I think that, um, I'm, I'm like as I'm doing it, I'm learning how to balance it. I'm learning how to find that balance. And I think when you're made for something, um, it's not a challenge. It's more so of how you navigate through it. It's a growth thing, and I think yeah. what you said too, like learning as you go, as you go. in in this, especially yeah. like now, because it's the, the dynamic is slightly different from when we was out. Yeah. So it's like you are navigating this, and to your credit. You took the like you you raise up to the you know you're rising up to the occasion and not everybody wants to to do that because right. they have a lot of opinions and things like mm -hmm. that. So, I think people are scared. Mm -hmm. I think people um they want to take the credit for the work but they don't want to do the work. 
You know, saying everybody wants that satisfaction. Everybody wants the oohs and ahs. Everybody wants the applause. But what are you doing to get the applause? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And for me, it was never about the applause. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was never about that for me. Um, I just like wanted to help out. <laughs> Honestly, right. like, I literally just wanted to help out. Like, right. And it sucks that my efforts, you know, got um, mixed up in a whole confusion of um, miscommunication. miscommunication and of um, conclusions, assumptions, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I'm saying? All types of assumptions, all types of conclusions, and they didn't even take the time to understand what's going on or ask what's going on. Um, they don't even know who's on the board, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They didn't know these things, you know what I'm saying? And um, granted, like, I think that was a little bit of our fault. You know, maybe we should have said, hey, this is who's on the board. But I mean, hey, like... No, I think if, you made a but, post. Right. right. I think I've, post I made was post, made. I made posts. Of who was on the junior But also, um, not only that, but like, it's the parents' job. This is, you know, this is why they come to the meetings. Y'all are supposed yes. to let them know this is, you know, mm-hmm. you guys are part of the board and... You know, this is what's going on in these meetings and stuff like that. So everybody's informed right. and we're all on the same page. But of course, you know, as me, you know, holding the president title, I'm mm-hmm. going to post, you know, saying when it's necessary, hey, mm-hmm. this is what's going on. This is the rules that we made. Mm-hmm. This is what we're doing moving forward. Mm-hmm. This is what we decided. Mm-hmm. Not me. Mm-hmm. We. Okay. Right. <laughs> and, 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 and every we, because yeah, you know, I, I, I like, you know, it's a lot of I statements. It's a lot of I statements. A lot of eyes, a lot of pointing. A lot of me's and a, yeah. Point of the fingers and stuff like that. Right. Knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> so when it comes to the other issues, right? Um, I think one of the most common ones too right now is, is the charging of these balls and how these fees are kind of like, you know, and, I do feel like that is like a very difficult thing to, right. to task. So how do you feel about these, you know, Kiki scenes, balls being charged? Okay, so don't get me wrong. I understand that the um, organizations, the CBOs, don't always give out the most money. Um, right. Over the years, they've been getting, you know, a little stingy with the money, mm-hmm. um, you know, due to different factors. Yes. But um, I just, me personally, if it was up to me, like, I wouldn't charge no more than ten dollars for a Kiki ball. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Um, because I understand, you know, some of these kids don't have it. Um, and it's about the youth. So if it's about the youth, why are we charging them to have fun? You know, so this is an extracurricular activity, correct? Yeah. So it's like, you know, maybe a major ball, maybe fifteen dollars. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, my first ball I threw was free. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait. Like, <laughs> like, like, hold on. Like, right. 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 Like, let's rewind that back. Like, like, because I, I like, like, thank you for saying that because that's another thing that people also are not, you know, factoring in when they throw their opinions at you, especially right. when they try to degrade you and the work that you did and you put in. And I'm all for a bitch with receipts that put in work. Right. And. You have, are known for throwing very successful balls, right. balls that actually feel good, right. and balls where people... Because I was just speaking to somebody about this the last time, too, that I've always known this mm-hmm. for a while, that people are not having fun at these balls. They're not. They, they may have fun that their friend won. They may feel like they won because... Like they had fun because they won. But for the groovy ball and the history of the groovy balls, that... I've seen that people are talking about it days later, weeks later. They're talking about multiple categories. They're talking about the event. They're not just talking about one individual. Right. You get what I'm saying? They're talking to like, and we're talking about a nasty flow from LSS all the way from beginning right. to end. We don't really ever see that. And the we- clips are still circulating. Still. Stop playing with me. I mean, like every year, no shade, there's always been like a something, viral clip. A, a viral clip or something. Then- so it's like, and it's always gotten bigger and better. So yes, to that note, you are somebody who can stand behind certain decisions and decision making because you you you've done it. Yeah, yeah. So um, and yeah. So you would want the balls to be free. Yes. Now that it's not, um, pretty much. Do you feel? Do you? How do you feel about? I think that was something that was. I guess, in the works of trying to be implemented with not charging the youth, mm-hmm. but charging the adult. Mm-hmm. There was opinions. and like So what were some opinions around, let's say, that? Um, I think some people was just like, you know, oh, that's not fair. Um, they felt like it was dumb. It was a dumb rule. Um, they felt like, you know, um, you know, why does it matter? You know, who are we to tell people, how, you know, um, how much to charge or, or who should be charged? You know, stuff like that. What about yeah. the drinking... 
and all of that that we see now mm-hmm. because that is something too that I'd be gagging at. Mm-hmm. Like, it wasn't necessarily the case. Like, I feel like when, when we was out, if you do drink, you hide it in your purse. Like, right. you would be on a sneak tip about right. it. Um, I don't know if maybe they had a lot like, from the camera, a little, like, little, little no, something, but a little swig, like bitches just driving a boat, like you know what I mean, and yachts and stuff in front of the camera and things like that. And so it and does come into play, like you said, when it comes to um, sponsorships and all these things that they, they, you know, when they come into the space, that's for the youth yeah. and they see all these things. Do you think that like alcohol or how do you feel like that can be tackled? Um, as far as like 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 explain that. So. <laughs> Do you think that it should be openly? Um, it's just. Do you think it should be like a public open use for people to be drinking at kicking balls? Mm. No, no. Yeah, I don't even think that. Um, like, you know what? I can't say nothing because my first of all, um, we did have a bar, but if you didn't have a wristband, aha, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I can't really talk too much, but well, I no, would but say, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. But yeah. I, I would say like. Um, you know, me personally, like as you know, the years go by, as I got older and stuff like that. Um, I don't, I don't think that we should have liquor at the ball because um, people who don't know how to control their liquor, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then also, like, you know, the youth could be drinking it, and they shouldn't even be drinking it, and you know what I'm saying? So it's like that's even worse. Yeah, because sin doesn't do that. Like, right? Go on, I'll drink it. Like, we don't, we don't, we don't. Yeah, right. <laughs> but like, you know, but there are six year old girls are, that are out yeah. there that are drinking. Yes, and, and we're basically setting thing. the example for them. Yeah. They see us doing it, they're like, oh well, let me get a piece. Yeah, down, you especially if it's going to get them to win and if it's going to give them the vote. And that is something that also, too, politically, you know, um, people don't want to talk about and say that it's part of, you know, things. But it is true. Mm-hmm. And um, it's true. Yeah, but I do like that at your ball there was a risk. Yeah, there was risk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They checked step. IDs. And yeah. if you were over 21, you got a green. If you was under, I think it was like orange or something like that. Was it like that for the second groovy? Did you notice? Know yes, I, I believe mm-hmm. so. Yes, it was. not for the well, not for the wristband, but for the drinking. Well, the you know, um, was it? Yeah, there was a bar, mm-hmm. but it was um, wristbands. Oh, okay, again. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it ended up being fun. So it's not necessarily the fact that there's like involved. It's mm-hmm. just how it's being done. Right, right. But you know, moving forward, like we did, um, in the rules of saying, you know, no liquor, no alcohol. So. I mean, no alcohol and no weed and things like that. So um, I'm looking for a venue that doesn't offer a bar mm. um, for my next groovy. So, mm. yeah. You oh, so you trying to do a next groovy? Yeah, that's in the works. Oh, okay. Now, you know, there was some dilemma about that, too, and how you was going to go about doing that. Yeah. Are you still doing a Threes Company? Is it going to be a solo journey? How is this album going to go? Solo. Oh, he's dropping a solo album. Okay. <laughs> He's going solo. Oh, it's because you found like Father's How Far? No. No, I think. (laughs) (laughs) No, I don't think it's because of that. Um, I just think that um, I guess my journey, um, growth, um, and I just want to like prove to myself that I could do it. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, it was you know the the idea came from my little brain. Mm -hmm. Um, And um, I just I want to finish it out. Yeah. I want to finish it out. Yeah. Um, I definitely agree. I mean, we spoke about this before because, again, this is the second time that you're sitting with me. Yeah. But, you know, in your first interview, we went through the whole, you know, breakdown of how you was going about doing this. Um, you know, you was gagging at the success that it has. Yeah. But, you know, I'm glad that you are doing it again. I yeah. think it's now, I mean, it's going to be a much more responsible, you know, not responsibility, but like a thing to tackle. Yeah. You think you're ready to throw a ball by yourself like this? Yes, I'm excited. Oh. Because I don't have to answer to nobody. You don't like to answer to nobody. Mm -mm. Yeah. Like, I get to, like, really, like, dig in. You know what Mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, I don't have to ask, oh, how you feel about this? Mm -hmm. It's none of that. It's, oh, this is what I want to see. This is my vision. And this is what I'm going to bring to life. Mm -hmm. So, um, and it's not about being bossy or anything like that. I just have a very particular vision Mm -hmm. um, when I throw these events. And um, I like to see it through. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? It drives me crazy. Um, if I don't get the results that I see in my head, um, you know, I can l- literally like visualize every single thing down to the decoration from promotion on down. You know what I'm saying? Like a visionary. Yeah. I guess. So I I see it. I see the whole thing in my like I literally have like the whole plan set up um for this next groovy. And when I tell you, I'm not gonna tell you, but when oh. I tell you, <laughs> <laughs> on the I'm, when I tell y'all, 
I'm about to gag the girls. Like this time, um, I'm really about to like change the game. I'm about to change the game. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to change the game with this one. Okay. Because so because after the groovy, you know, the groovy series, um, you did throw um balls after that yeah. with other people and things like that. And so speaking of, I have a ball coming up. Yes, let's June twenty first. Um, June twenty first. You are not the father kiki ball with New Jersey Father Fame and the iconic Sha Juicy. Yes, be there. June twenty first is going down and NYC Latex Ball Weekend. Let's get it. If you could, how did the ball come about with you? Well, the I am not your father. You are not or, the father. You are not the father. Yeah. How did that develop? <laughs> um, I was on the phone with Fame. Shout out to Fame. And um, I was just like, yo, like, I was like, you want to throw a Father's Day ball with me? Like, and um, he was just like, well, like, you sure? I was like, yeah. He was like, yeah, I would like, he was like, of course, like, I would love to do it. I was like, yeah. Because um, Fame in Jersey, he's the, actually the president of the coalition in Jersey. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Shout out to him. Yeah, he's that. the president. Okay, fine. Um, you know, he's doing his thing out there. Like, yeah. he's like the top father out there. And I feel like I'm like the Get out of here. Yeah. Really? So I wanted to collab. You know what I mean? Oh, saying? yeah. He's so intentional. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta get in. Like, you gotta get you gotta in. in. You gotta get no in. No shade. Like, you gotta get in. Like the stuff that I do, everything is intentional. Right. Everything is intentional. Everything's with a purpose. But not, um, I um, you know, I wanted to collab with Fame. Um, we have a really good relationship. Um, I love his work ethic. Um, you know, I felt like if we threw a ball together, I, like all the workload wouldn't be on me. Right. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. And I felt like you know he'll share the workload, and you know what I'm saying, and we'll work good together because we already have a good relationship. And now you know. Yeah. I don't always have the best turnouts with friends. <laughs> yeah, at the ball. I know. <laughs> there was a we, we, go, we start the project as friends. At the project. Frenemies. Like, Frenemies. Like, booth. It be giving tea like, with money and like, like, effort. And, and who's getting paid their word. <laughs> No shame, like, bitch. It's always so tight that tease. I was a little nervous. I'm like, I like this friendship. Right. Like, and I was trying to think, like, is it, it me? Like, what's the tea? Like, what's the tea? Right. Like, no shame to be giving that. Like, like for I'm real. Like, but, like, I, it's not, I'm, all right, it is me. But it's not me in a bad way. Right. It's me because I want to see results. It's me because I don't want to, or I don't want to have to bust my ass and I got other people helping me. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, no. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you do your half, I do mine. Like right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like, yeah, it's not really me. It's more so just my work ethic. You know what I'm saying? And some people can't handle that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some people can't handle the pressure of like what I bring to the table when I'm in work mode. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, and that no shade. Because when you passionate about something and you in work mode, you want it's like ongoing, no shade. I, yes, it's and just... I can admit I could get a little snappy, yes. but that's only because I'm passionate. No you know shade and try they don't understand that. Yeah, there are, some people don't understand that, and that's okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? But um this like process has really been, you know, um easy sailing. Um, you know, of course, like we, we don't always agree on like certain topics or certain categories or whatever it's gonna be, but we work through it, and you know, um, it's been amazing. And yeah. also, then I think I'm um, shy. You know, that's my bigger me. Yeah. Um, shout out to shy. He was like, "Yo, um, you stole my idea. I wanted to do a Father's Day board." And I'm like, "I stole your idea. Like, when did you drop that?" Like, right. I was like, no. He was like, "No, I never dropped it. But like, you know, I was thinking it. You know how I thought. Like, I was thinking right. it. Bro. I was like, well, I wrote it down. You, like, you know, you are my bigger me, and I always, you know, wanted to throw something with Shy. Right. I was like, well, why don't you join us? You a father, like, right. you know what I'm saying? yeah. And you been throwing fat ball. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. My bigger yeah. Me. Mm-hmm. We, we're gonna give him his roses. Yes, definitely. Um, you know, he's becoming a staple when it comes to ball throwing. Yes. He's, like, yeah. You know, when Shy throws a ball, you see his name on it, it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna time. be a good time. Same for me. Yeah. This is Sam's first ball. Oh, wow. So, you know, why not do it with two fathers that's doing the thing, yeah. been doing it, have experience doing it, produce great results, and that's going to look good for fame. You know yeah. When he throw his balls, it was like, oh, yeah, that was a fair turnout. I'm going to fame's ball. Yeah, you know no what I'm saying? Shade. So I wanted to get fame out there. I wanted to help him get his name out there. Now, he already his name is out there, but I wanted to, hit, I wanted to help him it. get his name out there when it comes to, like, ball throwing, and maybe people could see him in a different light. You yes. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So 
I'm, I love the fact that we're working together. Um, I love the you are not the father theme. I love that theme that too. No shade. Up. When you told me that, I was just like, I was a kid. You're thinking this is what we're talking because, about. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody would have did the typical Father's Day. Balls, exactly. Father's Day no, like, you know, I wanted something catchy. And I feel like that's what the girls forget. When you're throwing a ball, you need a catchy name. Yes. You need something that's going to get the girls up. Yes. Like, oh, bitch, you going to that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like with the groovy ball, like, it's like, but you going to the groovy ball? Right. You want to get yes. groovy? Like, you know yes. what I'm saying? Like, I I want that reaction. Like, I want the yeah. girls to be like, yes, bitch. Like, you going to the you not the father world. Yes, you know yes, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it, it adds a little oomph. Like, it adds no a shit. little, oh, shit. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? It makes people interested. And that also draws the energy in. That 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 sets the tone, too. You know what I'm saying? From the very beginning, the title alone. Oh, bitch, I'm going to that. That's sh- that sounds fab. And it, Even and if the categories is late. Right. It's still showing up because they want to see the turnout because right. the, the title was fab. They want like, okay, I got to see this. Like, you and know I what I mean? also feel like job because you, you also have... Because, too, I guess because you say you, like, you was at the end of the golden era mm. in that transitional period, in a way... You can connect to the young and the old, old. and can met and bring yeah. them together. That's, and I, that's they put me in and that yes, and the Groovy Ball to me is such a family reunion ball. Mm-hmm. And we don't, I don't think we have that. Like, you like, I feel like HMI is supposed to, it's supposed HMI to be HMI that. Is HMI Legends Ball, like, we have Red Ball, like, you know, certain like certain, definable, but those are like major balls. Those are balls that you expect this to see the old, yeah. Like, I gagged, like, you know, at Groovy Ball too to see so many. Icons, Hall of Famers. They was in the building. Yeah. I had Tamaya yeah. in the building. I had Asia in the building. I had Vanity in the building. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had Kevin Jay Z on the mic. Yes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, talk about a a bitch fucking tutu. Yes. Thing, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not even gonna like just carry. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because there's so much things we could talk about. But it was just like I gagged to see so many people. People travel. People was booking flights for that ball. Yes, niggas was coming from L.A., Atlanta, Texas, Florida, yeah, bitch, overseas. Like, yeah, was traveling for this ball, and right. I was like so shocked. And you're right, like, it is like a family reunion. It is like a a mixer. Like, you know, mm-hmm. it was so mixy in there. It was so mixy. mixy. I, you know, I saw some of my old skin. <laughs> I had to dump hard. Like, you know what I'm saying? I Your saw, mother came and supported some, out. Oh, yeah, my mother was there. My cousins was there. My yeah. cousins was in the crowd screaming tell far. Family. And that was such a beautiful moment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that knows me and my mother's history, that was Down. a big moment yes. for me. So um, <laughs> yeah. I'm excited for that because, you know, no shade. I, I don't think everybody should throw a ball. Yeah. I think it's not, it's, it's not, I mean, you, anybody can throw a ball, but right, like, everybody don't have the, um, the, I was like, no, I'm gonna say, the it, uh, the, no shade. they don't have the expertise all the time. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to, you know what I'm saying? Not throw a ball until you, you know what I'm saying. Maybe until you have the tools to do so. You know what I'm saying. It's it's more than just hey, let me throw some categories out there. It's about having control over the ball. You know what I'm saying. It's about giving the people what they want. You know what I'm saying. Making the people excited. Making the people hype. You know what I'm saying. It's about um, category f- cat- organization. Cat- yes, category organization. Um, it's about the flow of the ball. You know what I'm mm. saying. Down to from the judges. People don't understand the judges. They help set, set the them tone. tone. Oh my god! The commentator LSS. Yes, LSS is very important. You yes. know, things like that. Um, it's so many different details that go into it. Um, the timing. Um, the way you know, what I'm saying, just like location, location, sound system, all different types of things. Like, I feel like no shade. Like the free balls and the cheaper balls be the most fab balls. It, well, yeah, I've always agreed agree with that too. The free ones, the BNG Cup ones, everybody be excited. Like, free. just five dollars to get in like, this thing. All about the cavity. The like, girls be coming. Yes, like, <laughs> and then they bring in their girlfriends and they they girlfriends. Come on, this thing. It's five dollars. <laughs> it's free, girl. Oh, it's right. free. Oh, yeah, I'm in there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. that sets the tone and gets people excited. You know what I mean? Right. Um, little stuff like that. Um, and but I'm not knocking anybody. Shout out to everybody that's throwing the ball because it's not easy. Um. But you know, I haven't done one. Well, your yeah. time is coming. Oh, I know what I want to do. <laughs> right. Yeah. But it's just like, um, I think it's more so of just like certain people just have a niche for it. Yes. And I. That's just what it is. It, it really it, is. That's no just shade. what it is. Like, it's nothing more to it, it's no shade. Some people just have it. You know how some people just have a niche for yeah, things? Nico, Nico is like that. Yeah, he's balls. really good yes, at that. He's yes. really, 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 yes. really good at that, yes. honestly. No shade. And you share a lot of those elements in that. And I think... Kamari. 
Kamari too, right. another one. Yeah. Yes, but these bitches are visionary. Yeah. So it's like they see it all the way through. And I think that is so important too, no shade, because like you know, everybody wants to throw the ball, but they 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 kind of forget that you're throwing it for the community. Mm -hmm. You're not throwing it for you. And I yeah. and I get that vibe yeah. when you throw the goofy ball. When I'm, you know, when we're on the phone and we're talking about like yeah. your focus is really, I want to get the people to enjoy this yes. event. Like yes. I want them, like I'm catering to them. Like, yes, this is my vision. Right. But Right, and it's like it's crazy because like the vision like gets me hype, mm -hmm. and because I know it's gonna get the people hype. Mm. You know what I mean? So I'm like, yes, like this is about to turn it. Like, yeah. oh, they're gonna love this. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? And I think when you put that energy out, you get that energy back. You do. When you put the energy out, you get that back. So when you put in that energy out, when you throw the ball, the self gain of self gain, it don't always work out. It don't always work out, and the results end up being the same. Yeah. There's always fighting. The energy's nasty. Mm -hmm. It's like it's so much like bullshit yes. going on. Yes, but. The ones that are intentionally, like, I'm trying to throw an event for the people, always have a fab response. Always have a fab response. Always have a fab response. And that's why I will continue to have a fab response. No shame. <laughs> I mean, you could not just walk anything and just throw balls and, like, I mean, I'll go to every single one of them because I know I'm going to get my money's worth. Right. You can charge me $20. <laughs> Dumb other girls cannot. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm probably going to do it pay anyways, but it's still, <laughs> like, you know. Yeah. But, um... So let's get into more about Telfar and the successes mm -hmm. with Telfar. Right. Do you have the list on your phone of these things? Because well, now you yeah, know we're gonna, gotta, we got to prepare because we're going to run down the 16 of the years that Telfar ended up snatching because apparently there's a conspiracy surrounding that too. Oh, so, <laughs> right. so new runners of the year, pretty boy of the year. Mel Figure Executive um, Runners of the Year, Banji Girl Runners of the Year, Legendary Runners of the Year, Drags Runway of the Year, Woman's Face of the Year, Femme Queen Face of the Year, Bazaar of the Year, Prince of the Year, All Around Mel Figure of the Year, Father of the Year, School Girl Runners <laughs> of the Year, Star of the Year, and last but not least, House of the Year. House of the Year for the second time in a row. Yeah. Can we get into that? You knocked Juicy's out of the House of the Year twice. <laughs> That's a really difficult fucking thing to do. Right. Like, they have to give you your life for that. They have to give you your prize for that. They may not, like, you know, agree with it, but, like, they has this disrespect under that. Yeah. So how did you feel when y'all won? Um, I was just, like, I was relieved. I'm not even going to lie because it was a war between um, the Moulins and the Telfar. No shade. Um, it was a very close race. Like, yes, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to give them their props. They did their thing last year. Mm -hmm. And um, I said to myself, if we win, great. If they win, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be I'm mad either. Mad. Wouldn't be mad either. Wouldn't be mad either. Yeah. Which was, which just kind of gagged me because I, mm -hmm. once I seen, um, well, you know, I, once I seen that, you know, Mulan's was promoting everything. I was yeah. just like, no shade. Like they was definitely, they, yeah, they was coming. They, they was coming. They was like, they was on our asses. Um, but we was fighting back too. So you no know what shade. I mean. We was fighting back, and I guess you know the people voted, you know, who they like more. I think well, people know. too sometimes forget that there is this is a new era, and you know, like when I first came out, like Pink Ladies was 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 like on its end of far as like powerhouse, mm -hmm. and then the Juicy was on a rise. Right. They had their you know their ten year run, mm -hmm. and now like you guys are coming up, mm -hmm. and then you guys are rivaling with the Mulans, and mm -hmm. I live for that. You know what I mean? Like no shade, yeah, like it we hasn't been like that, that in a minute. In a minute, um, like, and I feel like that's what the scene is missing. The scene is missing like rivalries, and you know the girls is not gagging nobody anymore and I think that's what made my house um stand out like we had gaggers yeah all last year we had gaggers debuts the girls was gagging. oh my god she's a tough one. oh my god he's a yeah. tough one. oh my god yeah, like no shame. it was you know it was it was a big thing it was news like you know what I'm saying it was front paper type news yeah, you know what I'm saying what um and I think uh, that's what sets us apart like I think because <clears throat> um because we you know I come from a like I'm at the end of the golden era, I would say. Yeah. Um. So I, I know what if what it like what it takes to um get, get that ballroom esque feeling like yes. that that you know the fun queens hiding in the car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the, but no, you Jay, know what I mean. Yes, like I, I come out like, this thing car. not come for LSS. Yes. Hot in that car when I call you. you yes. Come, oh, come out. Oh, no, you better carry. Like, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like I I I like that whole element of surprise. Yeah. I like the rivalries. Yeah. I like the shade. Yeah. You know, I be telling my kids like all that hugging shit. That's cute and all, but when you feeling it and you you in your zone, don't hug that bitch. Right. Hug her later. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is your moment. Take your moment. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It adds flavor to the category. 
story. You know yes. what I'm saying? It adds a story. You know yes. what I mean? I'm all about a story. Yeah, all me too, bitch. Yeah, I love no, that. I love, I love that. Like, <laughs> like, I live for like the juicy tea. Like I, I want to be gagging. Like you know what I'm saying? I want to gag. I want to yeah, gag. I want to gag. I want my money's worth. Yeah, Don't like, shame. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like that's what was missing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I was, um, you know, talking with my team, and whenever we talk about, you know. I'm not gonna give y'all too much of my you know, yeah, 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 yeah. How you get so? But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I did think about um, gaggers moments. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what stood us. That's what made us stand out. Um, and I think that's what the impact. Yeah, you know, so we had the wins. Mm-hmm. And if you look on Facebook and you go on the Keep Sleep page, all of my kids that posted had their receipts of the balls that they won. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. you cannot deny my kids. Right. You cannot deny their ideas. They no. rightfully deserved it because they have the receipts and they have the clips. They have the impact. Mm-hmm. And I think um, what made it, like I said, what made us stand out was the impact. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We didn't always storm every single ball. Right. But even if we didn't storm, it was something to be talked about. Right, we had a right. fat production. Yes, um, we was turning it for yes. production. No shade, you know what I'm saying? we was eating it. You but know see, what I mean? I, you know, because you know, I love, for, I love, I'm other, but I live for a production. Yes, but, but I, I want to ask you, how do you feel about like keep it a buck? Like, how do you feel about the tough part production so far? Like, I like, you like bitch, it. you already. I no, but I want to. Okay, okay well, talk. Like, as somebody let's, who let's talk. likes to, some stuff too. who people let's don't want to give you credit for, but you know, <laughs> they want to hide the fact that I contributed to the production of Nikki Singh. But anyways. Um, Clock that tea. Yeah, Clock that tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but um, I live for it yeah. because I understood like like again, Juicy's was holding that that rain for yeah, a while. Yeah, they was eating it, e- eating it for yeah. that. When I was on Navy, when Father on Navy, that was one of my goals was right. to redefine that right. because I knew a little bit of the source of right. why how to put that together. Right. So, and the funny thing is for me watching y'all, I was gagging, but not too much. Mm-hmm. But I was gagging that you guys were piecing it together nicely mm-hmm. with no strong element. But I know not Melma was in your presence around that time. Um, not, no, no, not not that time. Um, when oh, we started wow. doing the productions, um, Melmo, I think, was Melmo still in the house? I think Melmo wasn't in the house at that time. Right, okay. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, See, that but, makes it sense. Yeah, so it was mainly like, honestly, like, you know, sometimes Miles will have an idea mm-hmm. and she'll take over. And then um, I remember one time... Um, I took over. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a Toy Story book. I was like, you know, I want. Oh, this. okay. Yeah, I did that. So one. you did Toy Story. Yeah, I did Toy Story. Um, Miles had did the um, par- um, I think it was Party Monster where they did the um, Butch Queen and Pumps as a house. Mm-hmm. She did okay. that. Um, and it was another production. See, even she- that too. Like, yeah, like you I- got served. She did that one, and I was like, all right. I was like, I right, tag me in. <laughs> I need a piece. Okay. Yeah, no shame. Like, I wanted to show what I can do because yeah. um, I never did nothing like that before, but I always had the vision. And you've been around, right? So I know what it's supposed to look like. Exactly. I know what it's supposed to feel like. You exactly. understand? Exactly. It was if we're supposed to feel like a production from the storyline that to the music to the order of who comes who out, who comes out, the- how they come <laughs> out, the ending, the all of that, like. Bitch, a production. Getting that the Popeyes production exists. Like pissing me off. A production, you know what I mean? No, and then, ju- then we we tackle Juicy Ball. Yeah. And we won the um fifteen no, was it fifteen hundred? Really? Yeah, it was um a thousand dollars, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was a thousand dollars um um as a house. But it production. was gonna be right. I mean, like without because there's really no other house that's really set in a tone like that for productions outside of like juicy when it comes down to performance yeah. as a house. Yeah. So in my humblest opinion, like I love it. Like Thank you. I, I like again the execution of it. I live for the fact of the storyline, everything yeah. that we just said, the people who are like, like just the the choreographies. That sometimes I forgot what ball it was. I, I don't know if it was the ball that Nunu did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, like that. Was that crazy. Even for Nunu being a part of something like that, like, and that was that's when he debuted. He yes, debuted it. I knew I knew we needed a moment like that. I knew we needed that. I was like. When we was talking about the idea, I just envisioned everything. And when um we was inducting Nunu, I was like, she can't debut as Vogue Femme. No. Vogue Femme. Mm-hmm. She got to be on Viv. Like, yes. And even though it, ideally she wouldn't be on Viv, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. But that's what made it fab. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was a debut. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No, damn. And she, does, she came from a dance yes. background. She does ballet. Yeah. Why not? Why the fuck not? Why not? 
it makes sense. And I, and that is part of knowing your team, knowing your people. And knowing their strengths. Their strengths and their weaknesses. Their talent and using their talent. Yes. Saying, I have a videographer. You, you know what I'm saying? I have a, um, somebody that's productions. Everything that we've done is in-house. In-house. In no motherfucking house, bitch. I'm sorry, but you know, I'm very nice. Yes. Very Makeup nice. artists, hairstylists, yes. everybody. You know what I'm saying? We work as a unit because, and because we're all talented, duh, with the artistic. Y'all company. are a house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it, it would wouldn't make sense um, to be named the artistic house of South Park if we're not producing art. No shit. Clock that. Okay, bitch is giving record labels. <laughs> she giving record label man. Like yeah, okay. it's giving, you know, like she you, giving. Have, you know, how you got some houses that's like you know the Angie house. <laughs> yes, you got the you know the uppity mm-hmm. house. You know, it's we're like the um the artsy kids at the, you yes. know, at the school table. You Down. know what I'm saying? If you want to be, you know, you want to come to you know perform an arts, come, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You want to, you know, explore your talent. Explore you your talent. Your, your, your talents to be displayed on a different scale. <laughs> Come to the, the performer artist's house of Telfar. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, come get your song. Julia. Yeah. Right. Which I, you know, I've always, and the thing is, again, which also creates the brand of the house, the feel of the house, is the fact that that's, that's always been so consistent in how y'all navigate new members into the house. Right. It's, oh, they always, they are a good reflection of each other, right. no matter in what category, yeah. which I live for. And I think it's very important to not just put anybody in the house. Like, Yes, so anybody can be in a house, but do it with intention. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like um, the kids that are in Telfar are in past and present. They are the epitome of their category. Yes. You know what I'm saying? If yes. you look at each of them, you know what I'm saying? For the most part, they are literally like the epitome of their category. They match their category. You don't yeah. have to ask their category because they right. are the category. You look at them and you world. know. Yeah. Yeah. So, and because of that, all that we discussed. Yeah. All of the 16, you know, um, of the years yes. that you got, that's not even icing on the cake. Cause you got Telfar on your phone right. as your contact. You can just hit them up whenever you feel well, like that it. Easy. <laughs> that Let's talk that's about that. that. Easy, as it thinks. As so, you, yeah. As you may think. Um, you know, we have to contact um, his assistant. But we, I mean, we can contact him, too, but <laughs> right. you know, he's a busy man. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, but when I will say that when we need Telfar, Telfar, he, he comes in clutch. So explain how that like came about of you getting um, in contact with the brand. Honest, um, there was a few kids that knew Telfar, that, that knows Telfar, um, personally, or just like you know from seeing him around parties or whatever the kids can be because they who they are right out in the outside scene, out of the scene, right, right. So they had a lot of them have connects. You know, so a lot of them are you know dancers. They they um, perform with. Artists, celebrities, right. a lot of them are, you know, they do print work, mm-hmm. commercials, all that. Mm-hmm. They, they're already in the industry. So it was no surprise that, you know, they would bump into Telfar or yes. know Telfar right. or hang out with Telfar, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? So when we were starting the house, obviously the word traveled and I'm, I'm sure, you know, people told him like, yo, you know, they're starting the house of Telfar, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was like so hype. Like, he really? was like, wow, like I never thought that, you know, people would want to like name a house after me. And he was like, I don't understand how these other designers do not support the people that's named after them. And he was like, whatever you guys need, I'm here for you because... I want to support y'all in any capacity. And he always, whenever he sees us, what can we, he's like, what can I do to support y'all? And we don't ask him for much because it's not about that. Yes. But we're just appreciative that you see us. Yeah. You're appreciative that you you gave us opportunities to be seen on a different yes. level. You, you know, you gave us the opportunity to um, you know, collab with you. So Telfar, shout outs to you. And I thank you. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you for creating the brand. Thank you for welcoming, welcoming us with open arms. No tea, because I mean that happened so quickly, and you know, seeing the evolution of Telfar from the you know from before you even named it that Telfar, was like, it, that was like uh, evolution. Like that was just like the groundbreaking approval, bitch. That was groundbreaking. And then and then Beyonce name dropped y'all. Yes. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Like uh, like yes. like you, you don't see me bragging about that. No, and you know, I with me, bitch. You want you, me to talk my shit? Yes, but like. It's not about that. It's not. You know what I'm saying? But the proof, when you when your work speaks for yourself, you don't got to say a damn thing. Yeah. So yeah. now you don't have to. <laughs> Jaja, you don't <laughs> have to. No shade. Bitch, who? <laughs> Bitch, what? I paid my dues. Yeah. No shade. I've yeah. done the work. I was the underdog. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And I know how it feels to work. Was the underdog. Yeah, I was. I love the was. I was. And no shade, me too. But yeah, I love. Like, I live for the was. Yeah, that's I, not who you are now. That's not who I am now. And 
I'm not saying I'm like, oh my God, I'm like, you know, a fat, fat, yeah, fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just like, I know my worth. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And yes. I added to the culture. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I've added, I've, you know, I brought competition back to the Kiki scene. Yes. Me and my, yes. we, we brought competition back. We brought f- something fresh. It gave like, oh my God, a breath of fresh air, something new. You know what I'm saying? We brought a wow factor. You know what I'm saying? I brought... Balls, you know what I'm saying? Hot balls, you know what I'm saying? I gave y'all quality balls, you know what I'm saying? I gave y'all new quality talent. Balls. Yes. New talent. Yes. That y'all been trying to snatch for years. <laughs> <laughs> right. Talk your shit. Like, I'm sick of these bitches. <laughs> right. Get but it in like, the ring. I'm sick. <laughs> sad. Like, but guess this what? Trying it. You could, you know, you could be in my kids' inboxes, but they're not going nowhere. <laughs> they love it here. <laughs> Nah, well saying. fed. Well fed. Well fed. Ain't missing no meal. Right. Nunu ain't missing. Not, not a damn thing. Not- <laughs> but you saw how she ate. <laughs> she eating them girls up, yeah. though. And she ate the girls up. Oh, didn't she just eat the girls up at the last ball? Bo- um, <laughs> yeah. At Smiley's ball? Didn't she win grandpa's uh, with... Um, with Saya Juicy, yeah, she won. Oh, I didn't see the end. Oh, wow. She came and cleared the girls. <laughs> I, I, I wrote on her wall, stamped. <laughs> I told her, I said, you know, coming to Telfar, you got to stamp your name, bitch. Right. I was like, you got to stamp your name to Telfar. I'm still on her. I was just texting her earlier. Mm-hmm. I was like, you walking this thing? You walking them all? Like, <laughs> for real, like, you know what I'm saying? I, like, I, honestly, like, I just want my girls to be stamped. Anybody that comes through my, the doors of Telfar, I want you to just stamp your name. Right. I'm not saying that you have to walk every ball, but I just want them to... I, I see the talent and I want you to display it. Right. And um, I want you to have your own name. Yes, mm-hmm. you have the last name Telfar, but the Telfar, last name Telfar don't make you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. make you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So No shade. So what are some challenges you feel like you face as founding father dealing with such a successful house right now? Um, Some challenges. I would say... Hmm... I feel like um, people have a misconception. I think they think that I just get like all these different perks, <laughs> and um, they think that um, like like perks like you get into the ball for free. Like I don't know. Like no. I feel like people just like, oh your father tough or you got it or you, <laughs> like, you know like oh you know you get special treatment or you know what I'm saying you can yeah. just call tough for like it's yeah. like no. It's not right. like that. It's not exactly how you may think. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm not mm. a genie or in a genie and I could just snap my fingers and things, you know, come to me. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. Like, I know how to navigate to get, you know, things that I want, but um, it's not just given to me just like that, just because of who I am. Um, I would say some challenges. Um, I would think, I would say, hmm. Oh, but it's just an easy ride for her. She over here leading, you know, challenges. Yeah, I'm trying I to live for that. Thing. Um, I think for me, like honestly, like, as a father, yeah. um, just learning how to deal with the different personalities mm-hmm. um, and understanding each one. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Understanding their needs, understanding their sensory levels. You know what I'm saying? Because we come from a different era where it was like, girl, shut up. This is what we, you know, what I said, and this is what goes. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. This era is not having that. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's about like, no, we have a voice too. Mm-hmm. And I had to um, learn that as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, they have a voice and this is their house as well. So, you know, I have to listen to them and understand their feelings and, you know what I'm saying, understand what they're going through. Right. Um, because when you're a father, you know what I'm saying, you're looked at as a, you're looked at in a different light. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You're held to a higher standard. Mm-hmm. Um, you are the man of the house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So um, it comes with, you know what I'm saying, a lot. You know what I'm saying? It comes with not only um, working hard, but also making sure that your kids feel like they can come to you. Making sure that, you know, your kids understand you. Making sure they, yes, like, you know, you can keep, but they respect you as such as well. And from one father of the year to the next, that is true. And that's, to me, I feel like what makes and breaks a lot of fathers or when they, because, you know, they tend to give fathers who are just open house, Mm. father of the year. Mm. But, you know... For you though, I know, like legitimately, it, again, it's a, you approach it mo- most, mo- excuse me, you approach it differently um, than most. Like you're not just, like you said, you're not just opening the house and just da Like you have this sensitivity around, around you know, your leadership mm-hmm. and how you go about doing things. Mm-hmm. People don't realize that you are a bit sensitive. Like, and it's not a weakness at yeah. all. It's a level of emotional intelligence yeah. that people throw out the window. Right. But especially helps. in those positions, yeah. yeah especially in those I think positions. people think because, like, oh, I'm father, like, you got to listen to what I say. And, and um, 
that's what I thought at first too, because that's what I was taught. You know what I mean? That's what I, I saw. You know what I mean? Um, but as like I said, I had to move with the times. I had to understand that this is a different era, and I had to understand that it's not about that. It's yes, like don't get me wrong. Certain decisions will stick. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Because at the end of the day, you are the father. Right. Because I am the founder. Right. You know what I'm saying? So certain decisions will stick. But you know what I'm saying? I also learned how to work with my kids. Right. Um. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So. Why did you start Telfar? Um, um, I'm gonna be honest. Like at first, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little nervous. Um, I didn't really. I wasn't sure if I wanted to start a house. Um, but I had a lot of support. I mean, my support system told me that I had what it takes. Um, just like how Melmo felt like I had what it took to, you know, what I'm saying, be the president of the collab. Um, people always told me that I had like this fatherly essence to me, or I always had like a uh, niche for leadership. Um, so finally, my little Miles, you know, she was definitely in my ear for like two years. Mm-hmm. Trying to start a house, to start a house, to mm-hmm. start a house, and I was just like so like nervous about it, and I wasn't mm-hmm. sure how it would go. Mm-hmm. But I always knew that I was worthy. Yes, you know what I'm saying. And um, I had a, a rough. Patch trying to find a house that will set me as father. Thank you. Right. I was I was about to right. say because I was that was gonna be my, gonna get there. yeah. But um, honestly, like don't get me wrong, like I did get a couple offers, but that was after you know what I'm saying people saw you know what I can a little bit of what I can do. Um, but you know Miles put it in perspective, like she was like like aren't you tired of like following somebody else's rules and you know in a house when you know that you have what it takes to start your own house? And I, like, I thought about it, and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna do it, like you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna do it because I know I have what it takes. Um, I'm gonna do it because I see the bigger picture. I'm gonna do it because um, I'm passionate about it. You know what I'm saying. I'm passionate about teaching and helping and you know producing talent. Um, it's something that I love to do. I love to do it. Yeah. And um, why not share that love with you know my own family? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so that's why I decided to do it. Um, I wanted to give people a safe space to express their um, artistic abilities. Um, that's why we named it the Artistic House of Self Far, <laughs> because I wanted the girls to have a space to be themselves artistically. Um, see, you see how that explanation is not about you? Because, you know, people are making houses because they can't go anywhere else right. or because of, of spiteful reasons. Right. And we had discussions about that, too. Like, the, the intention of creating space has to be good. And it, that's... What produces good results? Exactly. Like we talked about the ball. Exactly. My for the balls were great. My turnout was great. My intentions for the house was great and wholehearted. The, Look at the, the success results. now, and I live for that. Like no fucking shade. Like because I don't. Thank you. Because I think again, but just understanding like how what was unfolding before you started the house of so far, much like it was, it was like you said, it was very that. Mm-hmm. It was hard for people to see you in a leadership position. Again, I think the. The great part is the fact that you're growing, and we we actually seeing you grow. And that's what I tell people all the time. Like it's like I didn't just wake up for all the telephone. The scene watched me grow, so that's why I have the respect that I have now. That's why people, you know, especially like the older girls, they understand my story, and they, they that's why they they tip their hats off to me because they watched me grow. You know what I'm saying? They watched me go from a little boy, a little schoolboy, Lorenzi, school quiet, you know, a little sensitive, and yeah, a little crybaby here and there, and. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Um, they watch the the journey. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They watch me fall, get back up, fall right. again, and get back up. And then then I, now I'm up, and now I'm up, up. Stuck, and now bitch. I'm really up, <laughs> like really up. Yeah, like no shade. And I'm happy about that. Like honestly, like for real. Like I'm really and glad. You've seen that it firsthand. Is, yeah, like you already know. Literally, like legitimately. And so, and I'm not even gonna hold you. Like, okay, not even gonna hold you. I think that um. I think that gaga to me is like it's the sweetest thing. Like you know, I live for a bitch for the evolution, and and everybody has their own. Q had his own, but the way he evolved within categories, you had your lane, which was evolving the way that you have been in. You know what I mean? And that, and it's not even comparing your successes to nobody else's, right. whatever. But what's for you was is what's was for you. And the unfoldment of none of these houses really, you know, seeing that light, but you seeing it in yourself yeah. and Mal seeing it within you as right. well. It created this magic, and it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. And you're doing it on your own, basically. I mean, like you know, you have your team, but like you're not. Your house is not crowded with a whole bunch of legends. It's not crowded with the girls, like come on, you know, with the Kamaris and all of them. And so to see 
that I think people don't understand too that being around that is is what's part of like this influence of why it sticks. Like you right. know, you see Beyonce, you see all these other girls and why they success, and it's like, well, they pulling from, you know, they're pulling from routines that's that was formulas that's been working since back in the day. Right. So um moving forward, mm-hmm. when are you coming back out? <laughs> That's the question that everybody Yeah, everybody has been itching. You've yeah. just been LSS dancing, you know? <laughs> like that. My little doom charge. Your little doom charge. My little doom charge. No shade. <laughs> um, I will be out this year. I will be out this year. Like, okay. I'm ready to get jiggy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, they're going to Like, wait. bitches don't even have signatures. Bro. No, no, they That's don't. Like, they, 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 like, you do a signature for two balls. Oh, we need something new. This is your, this is a signature. I'm yeah, saying, like, like. I have a whole brand, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't mention, you can't mention a job without mentioning mention a jiggy job. Like, right, 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 like, but nah, um. I'm ready. Like, I just, you know, it took me a minute. You know, I have the house. You know, yeah. it's like basically having like a newborn baby. Like, yeah. I gave, you know, maternity leave. Yeah. Like, you know like, <laughs> no shade. I had to feed the kids. Yes. I had to, you know, you know, put food on the table. Right. Had to make sure the lights was You had on. to go overseas and all that yeah, other like, stuff. You know what I mean? I like, can we talk about my, that? You know, I did the father thing. You know what I mean? I did the father thing. You know what I'm saying? You got it twice. Yeah. Back to back. Yes, I did. You ate and that I'm up. I'm sure it's for the, um, people's for all the other years. Well. Yeah, go ahead. Say it. Yeah, you ate that up. The year, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know? Yeah. Multiple other years, you know, other things. But, uh, so, also, too, last thing before we end this, because when you was reading the other years, mm-hmm. right, um, this is a small little tea that we want to just debunk. Mm-hmm. Um, around the HMIs and the nominations and how you was doing it, right. you wanted to stress breaking these categories up so everybody right. gets to think. Why? Um, the reason why... Um, I felt like it wasn't fair to the people that were walking these categories, these subcategories all year and not getting their recognition for it. Mm-hmm. Like, you have people that's walking women's face all year. You have people that's walking women's performance all year. Shout out to Sin, women's performance <laughs> of the year. Um, no, you have people walking drag categories, you know, all year. The breakdowns, drag's face, drag's runway, drag's runway, so whatever the case may have you. Um, you have people walking um, different types of runways that wasn't broken down. So, um, you know, I wanted to give them that opportunity, and I wanted to make sure, like, okay, like, one of the first things that I'm doing, um, I'm not going to just promise you something without any action behind it, because that's something that I did say that I wanted to implement. So I wanted to make sure that that was implemented, and I, I wanted to... Um, just like make sure that people have something to be recognized for. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I want yeah. people to get their recognition like fairly. I want people to get their recognition rightfully so. Rightfully, you know so. what I'm saying. And now, um, moving forward, I'm sure like that's gonna, how things are gonna go. And I feel good to know that I had a you know a hand in that. You know, yeah. What I mean? So it was amazing to see the people like you know get their of the years the the, the, the other years that I implemented. Mm-hmm. That was amazing, and it felt yeah. good. I was like, yes, like. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm this is what I was talking about. This is the work that Memo saw me doing. This is yeah. the work that he, you know, he saw me, he saw for me. You know yeah. Saying? This is the vision that, you know, he knew that I could do it. You know what I'm saying? And to see him on the top screaming for me, you know, when I got my LSS and, you know, him, you know, that made me feel good. And to see my house, you know, supporting me and everybody else supporting me was amazing. And it just made me feel like, okay, like. Everything that I'm doing is not in vain. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And And um, you're not trying to like be a part of that divine eye conspiracy so you can get your house out there and all that stuff. Like that's just, you know, (laughs) that is just ridiculousness. You know, part of that mess. Yes. Yes. So this is all in You got to turn a negative into a positive. Yeah. And that's, you know, I'm all about that. Like all these adversaries that's going to, you know, find against you and, you know, all these things behind the scenes, it's really just for the birds. It's fine. You know what I'm saying? What's meant for me? Will always be for me, right? And there's nothing that nobody can stop it, right? No one can stop it because it's destined for me. It's already yeah. in the cards. It's already in the works, and I'm putting in the work, and I'm continue to put in the work. So continue to watch me and stay tuned for what's next. And we gonna end it right there. Thank you. Yeah. You ate that up. I'm for that. Thank you. <laughs>